the story of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, leaving his family behind in a barren desert valley. Since Prophet Abraham and his wife Sara, peace be upon them, could not bear any children, Sara asked her husband to marry their servant so they could beget a child before they were too old to raise an offspring. Later, Prophet Abraham was commanded by God to take both his wife Hagar and their son Ishmael and leave them in a barren desert. As soon as Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, started to leave, Hagar cried out, Where are you going? Why are you leaving us? Prophet Abraham did not respond. After a few more attempts to find answers, Hagar then asked if this was a commandment from God. He responded yes. Then she replied, If God commanded you to leave us, then leave us, because God will never leave us to perish. She was sure that God would never abandon her and her child, despite being in the middle of a desert valley. He left him with a little water and some dates. Later, Hagar ran out of food and water and started to worry about her child. She climbed to a hill called Mount Safa, crying out, Is anyone there? Then she ran to another hill called Mount Marwa, again crying out, Is anyone there? Then she paced back and forth to each hill seven times. On the seventh round, Hagar saw Angel Gabriel descend from the sky and strike the ground with his wing, causing water to gush out from the earth. Angel Gabriel declared Zemzem, meaning stop, stop, commanding the water to stop. This water is now referred to as Zemzem water. This well to this day nourishes pilgrims of Mecca every day. Hagar and her child were then rescued. Years later, when Ishmael was growing to become a man, his father, Prophet Abraham, returned and built with him the house in Mecca called the Kaaba.